Captain. Did we get this white hander stuff? I didn't notice. That's how it would look if we did. Nice. Keep fighting these fights forever and ever. Decorated full helm is 320 now. Is it always 320? I thought it was 300. Hmm. Okay. Right. So. Where now? I mean, we're gonna move west looking for hyenas, but seems kind of dumb. Did it say tournament. I've done a tournament in a very long time. Might be fun. Buy nets. Should have bought nets. If we, were gonna, if we were running directly into a tournament, we absolutely should have bought nets. But we'll look what we're doing here. All right. Is it an arena tournament? Three rounds. The well-balanced scruncher. What's a scruncher? Cares. Let's try it. Five men with arena colors enter the arena to start the first round. Each round will be to the death. You won't be able to retreat or lose. Okay. All right. Is our armor repaired enough to do this? And do we have people? Five. Okay. I haven't done an arena tournament in a while. Yeah. I'm going to assume that I want things like. Well, smoke grenades if I get fucked, but mostly I'm going to assume I want things like tanks. Actual damage dealers. It's too bad this weapon, this armor is not back. Five, huh? Do we want a reach attacker? Do we know what each round is or no? I guess I need to see. Do we get given the information about the round? I'm worried if I click on that. Okay, I need to test this. I'm worried if I click on that, it's going to pull me straight in because I have two people equipped. But I'm not sure now. Let's find out. Does it tell me what I'm fighting? Yeah, look, see, I, my only option is let's win the prize or we're not doing this, so. So I'm gonna load immediately. So I don't want to abort the tournament, but I was hoping to see if they'd give us information. Does it tell us what the first round is over here? No, it doesn't tell us shit. Uh, I'm going to bring a thrower because if there's sword masters, I can't beat them without a thrower. And I'm going to bring the net for that exact reason as well. 
And other than that, we'll also bring... I mean, we might have been able to win that fight with these two guys, but I don't want to chunk my armor for no reason, right? Oh, I only had two equipped anyway. It's not three. So only two of them would have been pulled in. All right. Um... This guy might actually be good in this fight, too. And one more frontliner. Could be Pyro. Pyro needs a couple more. Ideally, it would be Mr. Jello, right? He's got good melee defense. 36 versus 35. No Nimble Brothers. Can I cycle Brothers in between fights or no? Or only gear? So the thing is, if our gear was a little bit better, we could bring all of these. I can't cycle Brothers. Can't cycle gear or brothers. Okay, thank you. Um, So that's some weird... So let me think out loud here, right? We've got... This is our best armor already equipped. It sounds like probably plating is going to be very good in each of these fights since plating will reset each time. I could just slap plating on one of these armors and replace it later. Although it's not like I'm swimming in uh, bone fragments either. Um, the rest of my gear gets progressively weaker for what we're bringing. It feels like nimble in this, in this place is going to be suicide since I won't be able to replace the gear in between unless I don't get hit very much. Yeah, I could. That's a good idea. Two cage. I could uh, actually repair my armor for, for money. I haven't thought about that because I never even think of that as a real thing I could do. Yeah, I'm going to bring a Mega and four damage dealers. Exactly that. Although Megas are worse in the arenas than they would be anywhere else since a lot of the opponents you fight have either very high accuracy, fast adaptation, nets, or all the above. I don't know if I can afford a second back ranker. Depends on the size of the fight. Like, I would like to bring one of my famed reach weapons because they do very good damage. So it depends how many opponents we're fighting, really. Probably it should be something like Mr. Jello with a decent armor set again. Could just repair the armor set. So maybe we repair this famed armor here. I mean, he's not range, he's just reach. Chat seems to think we don't want that. Alright. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what it is. I'm going to try to repair this if there's an armorsmith here. I don't remember if there is or isn't. Can I do it at the weaponsmith or no? How do I force repair stuff? I haven't done that in a million, 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 million years. Yeah, I know I'm missing a necklace. Thanks, guys. Yeah, how do I force repair something? I have to put it in my inventory? Okay. How are the items shop? You can do it in the weaponsmith. Okay. And then, alt right click, 1500, ouch, okay. Where's my other arena entry thing? I wonder 
if I bring second shield here or not? Let's try this. I haven't done one of these in a while. Should be fun. See what comes out of it. Only one net, so we have to hoard it. All right, first round, apparently no meds. And tell us what's fighting again. So it's now mercenaries with the hedge knight with the mace. Super scary. That's also a pretty high threat. Okay. Wish I'd set the formation up slightly differently. Does it reload my ammo at least? It does. Not very happy about these nets that are going to be incoming this next round. Did he take no damage? Took a chunk. This guy should be on front line too. I don't really want to go for the Hedge Knight first. 
because he's not going to die easily, but he's going to chase the archer around, it looks like. We haven't killed anyone here yet is the problem. We haven't even dealt damage. Dude, can we hit something? One net, which presumably I'm going to need for next round. Got to level up on a sign, okay. Shit. Hits me in the chest, does half my health. Hits me the first time on a what? 39 apparently. We've missed every shot thus far. Yeah, I wondered about moving into this. Should probably need to bring more nets, is probably what it boils down to. Hit that guy too. Any misses? No, no misses. It's too bad. No, no misses. I don't think I have the stam to throw it. I don't know what it costs. That second round is nasty. Three super high damage reach weapons, a hedge knight with a mace, three nets, and throwing weapons. I mean, they, the mega with 75 melee defense has been hit every round so far. I'm kind of curious what the last round is. If I can't change equipment here, like, what's the game plan? <laughs> Thrower, amazing here. What does the final round look like? The final round is the same thing we fought again with like a couple more of them. Yeah, I don't, I, I can't do that with the number of times they hit me versus the number of times I hit them in the first couple rounds. 
There's a hedge knight up there with a warbrand, it's a fairly accurate weapon. Everyone's pretty heavily armored here. A lot of these weapons are very accurate. Almost all these weapons do a lot of damage. There's 10 opponents. I don't see the second hedge knight. I'm sure it's there. I just don't know where it is. This one, maybe? I'm kind of curious, though. I haven't done a tournament in a long, long time. There's only one hedge knight here. So, there are things we could do differently. I don't know how many of them matter versus not. But I mean, this was eight, what is it? Eight nomads, eight mercs, 10 mercs. The mercs are disgusting because the mercs are all fucking fast adaptation. And this, this round is all, it's funny too. They, they couldn't have planned it better, right? Because last round was all heavy armor destruction and this round is all high accuracy good versus flesh damage here so like the sequential no changing of armors is the worst thing ever here i could bring the other thrower the other thrower is not really a thrower check if armor's fucked of course armor's fucked dude Hedge Knight hitting on his first attack was pretty rough too, right? 29%er. Chunked our body armor, does wounds to us. So how could we realistically do this? I mean, this third fight looks super hard too. You guys are saying we rolled poorly to get a uh, triple, triple Merc parties. More nets. Yeah, more nets. I mean, I wish I had uh, proper attachments too. Because, for example, um, bone plating would replenish every single. Uh, round which would be nice. So maybe we bring one nimble brother. I was assuming nimble wouldn't be very good here since nimble is really an HP tank But if I have to fight three times maybe At least it isn't bounty hunters these these are is there a difference between bounty hunters and mercenaries? Uh, I, I can't win from here, bad, uh, bad Mr. Frosty. That's not the point. I'm just wondering if we had fought these three groups in a row, what, 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 what could we have done differently here? Bring another reach guy with high ranged attack. Throwing weapons don't do damage without duelists. I mean, I can pump gunshots into them, but that's not really how this fight works. I don't know if the tank was worth it or not. Like, it felt good in the first fight. The second fight, the tank just got hit every single time because the fast adaptation doesn't do any damage. See, I, I would just never take this fight. If I were playing Iron Man, I would just never take this fight because, like, what happens if you get this RNG? You just lose. And what's the upside? Some famed item that's not going to roll well. Don't even know what type of famed item it is. Like, certainly a bow is not going to be any good here. Crossbow would be good in these fights, probably, but not exceptional. The gun's not going to be any well. If we had a second throw, it would be good. <sighs> All right. So here we would definitely just crash this because we're not, we're not taking this fight. So question is, what are we taking? Do you guys want me to try it again? I don't think there's too many tweaks I would change. I'd like to see if the RNG is as bad as that every single time. Because that's pretty rough. So, like, is the tank even worth this here? I mean... It's 
She's like, what, what else do we bring? Do you have another net in there? Thanks worth it if he doesn't get hit every time. Well, they have fast adaptation. Like, fast adaptation, especially the buffed variant, just fucking wrecks tanks. That's why um, it's so nasty if you get Emperor stuck on your lone wolf tank. So the one I'm looking at, I'm looking at my cleaver. Is that assassin here? No. More nets from hires. I don't know how many more nets I want. I was liking the knockback a little bit versus that hedge knight. I don't know if it's worth bringing more. I don't have to start with this loaded, I suppose. I could do something like this. Can't switch to the crossbow till we've fired one of these nets off. I don't know if that's worth or not. Probably not, honestly. So if we don't do that, we're going down to two stacks of throwing weapons, like this. Could bring one more net on the cleaver, I guess. Have to find a guy with a net. There are none. Don't need the knives. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it's going to go better without the tank. It might, I guess. Maybe. It's crossbow needed. Pushback's really good. Should have another duelist armor that matter. I guess this guy is not really doing a whole lot of tanking. Uh, do I have, do I have one more nimble helm somewhere? I do. Just looking for eleven, so it's that, or even eight seven. I could do. I don't have this hand thing repaired yet. I mean, this just means we have one chunk of armor on this guy. Makani wants the 320 here. Does this look stronger? It doesn't look stronger to me. I did want to change the formation. I mean, that doesn't look much better to me. Oh yeah, swapping the bone plating to the cleaver, yep. I mean, we can try this. This doesn't seem stronger to me. It's higher damage. Maybe it's good enough with another with another um, adrenaline. The other thing we could do is drop the zero stam. It's just this character is really solid with 9246 and bring the adrenaline sword and try to adrenaline this more, but it's not gonna help versus like, I mean, might help a little bit versus the mercs, I guess, maybe. It's just that guy's like 84 accuracy. Could repair the nimble hat. My hats are repaired as the nimble brothers. Could repair the other um, battle forged. Yeah. Whip will be helpful. He doesn't have quick hands, so it's tough to tell. All right, we'll try this. Uh, let me just make sure all five are there. We'll try it one more time. I'm uh, a bit concerned that's not very winnable for us with the brothers we have. Or the way I'm playing it. So this is the same fight. Down to the exact same equipment. No, I don't remember if it was or wasn't.
Kuro is actually super good for bait too. Spent a lot of actions flanking it. Yeah, the double adrenaline was good here too. I mean, this is the easy fight, so who knows, right? Yeah, some dangerous weapons. No mace is good, although the hedge knights cheat, right, in the arena for how much damage they do. sucks. It's the difference between getting a kill and the morale breaks for everyone versus not there. He does not want to be tanking everybody either. Quitters never win. This is going worse. No, that was a terrible, terrible, terrible round. Thanks, Claire's. So what are our options here? We didn't kill this guy despite leaving him at zero health to begin with. There's two of them over there. This guy gets a cleave attack through me. So does that guy. And so does that guy. Which is awful in all ways. do anything to him. Dies to the cleave. I mean, look at that. No, they don't ever fucking miss. I'll give you someone who... I'll give you an answer. <laughs> I'll give you an example of someone who does miss, though. Dude, it's so frustrating. I just accidentally passed that turn. We just missed the entire round. Not even touching the hedge knight. <sighs> I mean, what what percentage are we hitting at right now? Like twenty percent.
Glad you guys love this RNG because it's fucking shit from my perspective. No, oh, they don't fucking miss at all. Well, I hadn't done a tournament in a couple years, and I gotta say, uh, my my last my last take home on the tournaments were, if you're feeling masochistic, go for it. Otherwise, don't bother. I would love to see one to its end, but I don't know how the fuck I beat those teams. I mean, we can try a different loadout, but what does that even look like? Like, what else are we bringing? These are our strongest brothers. Our strongest brothers are not insane, but they're okay. I mean, we could try the Mega again, but they don't they don't miss enough to make this character good. The whole point of a Mega is it has a shit ton of armor and a shit ton of melee defense, and it runs, it lives longer than they're alive to do damage. I don't think a runner's good, maybe with the Nimble Brother, but it's just like, their teams are so nasty, right? Their teams are fast adaptation mercs with high damage reach weapons, hammers, nets, throwing weapons, and hedge knights. Like what's our what's our upside? Like where like each of those fights <laughs> I don't know man. If we could change gear, sure, we could bring different people, maybe. I mean, I don't, I don't know, maybe, I don't have two throwers right now, so I don't have anyone else with um, duelist spec for another throwing weapons. Throwing weapons seem very, very strong here. The burst from that's so good. Yeah, thrower throwing every round could be good, maybe. All right, well, let's try. How do I tank this? Maybe it is these three. What did we bring last time? We added one more and it didn't do a goddamn thing. Kind of like the first setup more. Try once more. I think I've got five here. Let's try once more. Oh, I, I wanted one more net. But it just wasn't supposed to be on these this guys. Is this who I wanted? Oh, and I don't have this guy in the front either. Uh, hold on. Before we try one more, let's get it set up as I want it. Which is, I want two nets, but I just don't want them both on the thrower. And I want the potion assigned. I want the um, and I want the mace on the front line. Although that mace's armor sucks, so maybe we're gonna swap its armor out. I'm not sure yet. I might drop that orc axe too, I'm not sure. Okay. So if we touch... So we wanted that there. I want this in the front line. I want you there. My second net's hiding out in this guy's inventory. Can run that here. Maybe. Okay, reach axes, reach axes. We have a famed um, reach weapon too. Somewhere. Don't make me a liar game.
And I was going to plate this, right? Where did my 300 go there? All right, let's try this. Oops. Such a nasty fight. Second round of throwers would be really nice, but here we are. Oops, just took an extra hit that I didn't need to take for no reason whatsoever. Alright, some mistakes there, but that fight wasn't bad. I'm curious if my regen potion is still active. No, so eat your regen potion. Wait, I did it on this guy. Still eat your regen potion. Okay. Alright, Merc, Hedge Knight with a hammer. The Hedge Knight with a hammer is um, terrifying. I'm sure this is worth moving back for, but okay.
first and last, I guess. So we could get in on these range damage dealers, which seems important. But if they have rotate, they just end up rotating their Bardishan. So I could go there. If I'm going to eat the Hedge Knight this turn and next turn. I could go here. This guy is super tanky with the 230 and a shield, so I want to ignore him. I don't want to waste the full turn here, but I guess I am anyways. I have to deal with these though. This thing in particular, it does if it doesn't kill me this round, it kills me next round, right? Like not this fight, but the next fight. Kinda need this guy to go after the archer, but I don't think he's going to. I think he's gonna go straight in here. And then go first, because he's a fucking cheater. The guy's also very tanky. We've got one net out of there. The 210 is not a very tanky armor. Yeah, the problem is it won't kill and this guy will rotate out. And I would really like to deploy the net. <laughs> this guy goes first and last. Could net this guy to just buy a turn, but... Could net the pull hammer. The nets are not replen- I can't- I only have a limited number. I need this now to get the shield out. Probably what I should have done is not brought the dagger so I could at least swap to the shield if I needed it. That guy doesn't have bone plating, can't really afford to have that thing hit me. I don't know any way to avoid that though. It's lucky. Sucks. I don't know, chat. I just feel like I'm getting roll. I think feel like I'm getting carried right now by the fact I'm rolling well and my opponents are not rolling well. So he's useless for next fight now, after that hit. Still alive, annoyingly. Yeah, I saved the tank so I can make a decision here about what to do with this. The rotate's better now that this guy's broken for sure.
But still, what do we do with this guy next round when he has two, two fucking 60 armor versus the same group? Or a bigger group? Of course you have throwing axes. You're just waiting, waiting for me to make the mistake. What a gamer. I mean, lucky as 